Carpal tunnel is not a risk problem, at least most of the time. In my office, greater than 90% of all cases of pain in the hands and wrists are corrected by making an adjustment on a pinched nerve in the neck or the upper back. It's usually pretty simple. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of time and it's easily correctable. Now, there's a hierarchy of symptoms. If you leave these symptoms alone and you do not get treated over time, they will progress and get worse. Uh, stage one is pain. Stage two is numbness or tingling. And then stage three, uh, weakness, and you start to lose strength in the muscles of the hand and the wrist. At any point along the way, but especially at that last stage, you will start to have permanent nerve damage. So it's imperative that you get checked and corrected as quickly as you can. But also as you progress through these, these different types of symptoms, um, it starts to show more and more as a severely herniated disc that's caused the problem. So treatment for this may not just be the spinal adjustment, it could be spinal decompression, um, but there's gonna be specific treatments we're gonna do for the disc in addition to what we would typically find with just a pinched nerve. I hope that helps. If you have these symptoms, call somebody quickly. You're welcome.